What's up everybody, I'm back with another mod. This time it is a uh, requested mod, and it is more ores. Now this mod is going to look confusing when I show you how to install it, because in these files there are going to be a lot of folders that you don't use. But uh, I'll explain that when I get to the installation. So let me go ahead and show you it first for anybody that doesn't know what this mod does. It's actually pretty cool. It does a lot more than I thought it did. Um, I had to generate a new world so it would spawn the ores, but I, did, I couldn't find any, so I just did this. Here's all the ores that it gives you. Um, there's a whole bunch, and then there's a whole bunch of tools it gives you, and like crowns and some other armors. So let me go ahead and show you what they're called. If I hit next, you can see this one is a uh, volatile matter, nano diamond, lava stone, grass stone, copper, silver, sapphire, jade, cinnabar. I don't know how to pronounce that. Fake emerald, tin, cat gold. On, on onyx, ruby, aquamar aquamarine, and I suck at reading some of these. Citrin, piri, scarlet emerald, emerald, nether gold, nether emerald, nether light, or nether netherite, bronze block, emerald block. Titanium, uranium, amethy amethyst, graphite, scarlet emerald block, citron block, ruby block, aquamarine block, on onyx block, amethyst block, nano diamond block, unstable uranium, and sapphire block. Then if you go to next, should be on this page, it adds emerald, nano diamond, aquamarine, copper nugget, tin nugget, citron, onyx, ruby, scarlet, nether emerald, nether gold bar, netherite bar, silver bar, fake emerald, bronze bar, Crown, bar, uh, crown base, bronze sword, bronze pickaxe, bronze shovel, bronze axe, nano diamond sword, nano diamond, all these are nano diamond, that's graphite, tin sword, tin pickaxe, these are all tin, uh, these are all copper, and then here's all the different crowns, and here's a uh, amethyst, Refined uranium, unfinished bronze, uh, uranium nugget, ruby nano sword, ruby copper sword, uh, ruby tin sword, sapphire, tin armor, um, copper armor, bronze armor, nano diamond armor, titanium armor, titanium bar, Cinnabar, grass stone, jade, and then you have uh, these are lava pickaxes. And what they do is uh, they make it towards a 50% chance if you uh, destroy or mine one of these ores, then one of the new ores that it gives you, including um, iron and gold, it'll have a 50% chance that it'll. it'll uh, come out already smelted so that's another cool thing so I don't want to make the explana explanation of this mod too long so I'm just going to go ahead and just let you guys see this see what it does show you some other stuff so that's it for showing it to you now I'll show you how to install it now I need to um, clean out my minecraft jar so I can cleanly install this for you so I will be back when that's when I finish doing that alright I'm back so what you're gonna need is you're gonna need mod loader 
um, and you're gonna need mod loader version 4 if you don't have version 4 this mod won't work so make sure you have mod loader version 4 um, I'll show you how to get it here in a second and then you're gonna need more block IDs and then you're gonna need the mod itself more ores so I'll give you a link to these pages so for more ores you're just gonna go ahead and scroll down a little bit and you're gonna go ahead and just click and click on download and then you'll just click on Dropbox you can do media fire if you want but Dropbox is easier and then you just hit save I already have it so I'm just go ahead and cancel now for the mod loader here I'll give you a link to this page you're just gonna scroll down and find where it says the mods and this is uh, for the mod loader do download v4 don't do grass fix make sure it's just v4 and now for the more block IDs I'll give you a link to this page and you're just gonna go ahead and just click on download I already have it so I should cancel so that's it for getting the mods now I'll show you how to install them um, for this one it's not that hard but like I said it's gonna look confusing so you go ahead and just click on start and if you have Windows 7 you can just type in percent app data into the little bottom bar percent app data percent but if you're on uh, XP and I think Vista you'd have to do this too you just type in run and then you open up run and then you'd type in percent app data percent into here and hit OK now we have our minecraft uh, we have the roaming folder open so we open our dot minecraft folder now we're going to go into bin and uh, by the way you do need um, WinRAR or 7-zip some sort of archiving program and then you're gonna right click or left click on it and then right click it and then do open with make sure you're doing just the minecraft jar do open with WinRAR Archiever we don't need we don't need this open anymore so you can go ahead and close that go ahead and drag this over here now let's install the mod loader first copy all these classes drag them in hit OK now we're done with the mod loader now more block IDs and bring this over here and now for the more block IDs the folder called source you're not going to need to do anything with that just open up dar, uh, the jar copy these two and drag them in hit OK and now you're done with more block IDs do, don't do anything with source just leave that where it is so now we're done with more block IDs now for more ores and this is why I said it's gonna look confusing um, all of this stuff right here this is all just like if you open up cheat sheet it just shows you what everything's called um, crafting guide if you wanna craft copper it just shows you how to craft this stuff lava pickaxes it just shows you how to craft the lava pickaxes so this these are just like uh, showing you how to do stuff smelting guide crafting guide and all that stuff just shows you how to do things but what you're gonna need to open to install the mod is open up more ores uh, version 0 0.53 so open up that and just copy all of these and drag them in hit OK and now you're done with this so you're done with more ores so you pretty much have the um, the mod installed now but make sure in your uh, minecraft jar if you have a folder called meta inf delete that just right click it and do a delete files hit yes what that meta inf file does is it makes it to where the mods won't work it's basically like a patch type of a thing so that's it that's how you install it like I said it's really easy but it just looks kinda confusing don't let the don't let that all 
get you jumbled up in what you're doing. It's not hard at all. So that is it, and I hope this helps you out. And to the person that requested this, I hope this helped you install it. And yeah, so thanks for watching. See you guys next time.